Hi, I'm Sio Hernandez, and welcome to Connect. It's not always easy to talk about reproductive health, and things like HIV and sexually transmitted infections might make us feel a little uncomfortable. But today, we talk with three professionals who make the conversation a little easier. We start with Juan Jimenez and Claudia Aspered from the Department of Health and Human Services of Marin County. They talk to us about the services offered at HHS clinics. At the STD clinic, we provide services specifically for communicable diseases, STDs, sexual transmitted diseases. So for chlamydia gonorrhea, we collect the urine sample. For HIV and herpes, we could do a blood sample as well as if they're having symptoms, uh, there's a doctor, a physician on site that actually will examine the person. If they test positive, we inform them as to what they're testing positive for. The doctor provides medication if they need to be uh, have uh, any type of uh, medication for their uh, infection. It depends on what it is. If it is bacterial, you know, with bacterial infections, we can do uh, antibiotics that can actually get rid of uh, the infection. If you're talking about HIV, then you know we try to get them into care. It's very rare when we have patients that just come in and it's just to see the doctor and that's it. Each person is a different world and. We help them as much as we can in the clinic. So when an individual becomes positive with HIV, then we do an immediate referral to one of the case managers. We have two case managers here, and they meet with the client, and they assess their eligibility, what kind of insurance they have. So they do a whole evaluation. They talk a little bit about their needs. They talk a little bit of you know, um, any medical history, any medical needs that they might, might have. Um, if they have been in care before, you know, just they do the first interview. It's probably about an hour, hour and a half. And then they make them eligible for different programs. If they don't have any insurance, then there is a few programs that pays, you know, for their insurance, but they have to become eligible. So there is the ADAP program that pays for medications. Ryan White pays for some blood tests and for the visits with the doctor. Once all of that is done, then the case manager makes an appointment with the doctor. I think a lot of times people don't want to be seen in an HIV office. This campus is not just for HIV. We have immunizations, we have kid services, they get their shots here as well. We have pregnant women, we have, so when they come in, people don't know what you're coming in for. You come in and just like everybody else, you register at the front. We're not gonna ask you what you're coming in for because we already have it in the computer. In terms of confidentiality, it's a very good place to come. So I think the most important thing is for individuals to come in and find out what kind of services are available for them. I think it's very important to come in and seek medical attention, even even if they don't think they want to start medication, even if they don't think that, you know, um, I don't really want to meet with a doctor because I'm scared, you know, I think it's a very good idea to come in and find out, you know, where their HIV status is. We're in 2010 now, and there is medications that really can keep somebody with HIV healthy for a really long time. The way I look at HIV is that, you know, it's really another chronic disease, you know, it's like having diabetes, it's like having high blood pressure, you know, you have to take medications for life, you know, when you have these other diseases as well. And, you know, because it's HIV and it's sexually transmitted, people have this stigma over it. It's like, oh my God, you have HIV. But really, you know, I mean, people who have, you know, um, diabetes and other, you know, diseases, they have to take something every day. They have to follow a certain diet. They have, you know, they have to modify their lifestyle. Um, and with HIV, it's exactly the same. Part of people coming to the STD clinic has to do a lot with prevention. We basically help them to understand maybe what their risks are, um, help them understand what all these infections are. We hand them out pamphlets. This is my favorite one. It's uh, the STD facts. It's a great pamphlet because when you open it, it's kind of like a poster. And it tells you what the most common STDs are. Chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis, HIV, herpes. And you know, what to watch for, how to get it. What if you don't get treated, what happens? So like just giving them this pamphlet alone, it's a lot of education. When they take it home and they read it, it's a great uh, tool to actually help the people to uh, prevent them from actually getting infected again or from preventing from ever getting an infection. The best thing to avoid having any of these infections is don't have sex. But if you're gonna have sex, then uh, use a condom or, you know, pick a partner that you can have sex with that, you know, they're not infected. Maybe both people can get tested. Even if you don't have symptoms, it doesn't mean that you're not infected with someone. So the best thing to do is to go, get, go to the clinic and get screened. Thank you, Juan and Claudia. You make it much easier to access HHS clinics. We have several partners to help us address issues with HIV and AIDS. 
Andy Fine, will help us understand some of the services offered at the Marin AIDS Project. Our mission is to help people living with HIV have the best possible life. You've heard that AIDS is no longer a death sentence, that it's more like a chronic disease. That's true. But I think there's a lot of misconceptions that the drugs are difficult to take and have a lot of uh, side effects. Um, that was true 10 years ago, but now the newer formulations, once a day pills that are three of the drugs are formulated into one pill once a day. The drugs are less toxic, so I want people to understand that um, if you have a diagnosis, that going on the medication that'll keep you healthy for a good long time is not as painful as it once was. Our services are free. Um, the drugs that will keep you healthy are also free. They're provided by a federal program called the Ryan White Care Act. Um, the services that we provide are also funded by the Ryan White Care Act free of charge for residents of Marin who have an HIV diagnosis. So there's nothing to fear about getting the care if you find out you're HIV positive. Um, if you're undocumented, these services are still available to you. I don't know if people know that. So fear is a big problem for getting, uh, that will stop people from being tested. People who take risks in their lives and m might want to be tested because there, there have been exposures However, um, getting the, uh, finding out can be a problem because who wants to deal with it if you can't get services? Well, you can get services. If your doctor's not offering you the screening when you get your blood pressure screened and get your, get your sugar and your blood and your cholesterol screened, you need to ask for your HIV to be screened. And if you're not comfortable doing that, then come in to this office or to the uh, health department and get a confidential HIV screening. We use a developing strip and we get a little bit of your saliva. We're not actually testing the saliva, we're testing the cells that are in there. Put it in a developing fluid and this is a very highly accurate test. We'll have the results in 20 minutes. It's free of charge, confidential. Although we'll ask you your name, we won't ask you for your driver's license to verify that. We do this test in English and in Spanish, and we offer as much counseling as you'd like. So we'll sit with you for 20 minutes, and then give you your results, and then spend another hour with you if you want to talk about strategies to reduce the harm in your life. We work in, in, in a client-centered approach. So we're, we're asking the client, what do they need? And we'll work with you. It's not what we think you need. It's, it's, it's what do you need? And, and we'll plug you in. So a lot of times here in Marin, that's housing, that's food, that's employment. Yes, it's medical, it's, it's health insurance, you know, but it might be in that order. And if that's how you want your services delivered, we will make a care plan with you and we'll work through that plan over the months and help you connect. I want people to know that we're all about harm reduction and that's our prevention model. It is not an abstinence model, it's harm reduction and that might mean using barrier protection, condoms, uh, if you're having uh, sex, or exchanging dirty needles for clean needles. Um, harm reduction is finding out uh, everything you can about how the disease is transmitted and how to take care of yourself, so education. And harm reduction is stopping smoking. That's another harm reduction strategy that we, are, we, we feel is an important message. So I want people to know that if you are using um, intravenous drugs, or if you occasionally have high-risk sexual behavior, uh, we understand you're human. These things happen. We want, we want you to reduce the harm that these practices cause. Thank you, Andy, for helping us with the work that you do at Marin AIDS Project. For more information about HIV and AIDS or sexually transmitted infections, check out these links. Thanks for watching Connect. I'm Sio Hernandez, reminding you to listen with all your senses, know your communities, and connect. <laughs>